all right then uh, welcome back everyone let's solve this question coins so let me read out the question for you in berlin there are two types of coins having the denom denominations 2n k berls okay so that's the currency i guess the task is to determine whether it is possible to re represent n berls in coins that is whether there exists non negative integers so what are non negative integers greater than equals to 0 non negative integers x and y such that 2x plus ky equals to n fine so important thing is these are non negatives so you zero is allowed okay it's not a uh, positive it's non negative zero is allowed so basically we have just two denominations 2 and k and we want to figure out using just these two denominations can we represent a number n can we represent a number n right so basically like uh, it's like you have a if you are familiar with inr so if you, i am assuming most of the indians are watching this video anyway so you have like 2 rupees you have 2 rupees and you have k rupees so we just have to see whether using this these two denominations can you make n rupees okay or maybe if you prefer dollar dollars but fine so that is the question basically can you make uh, n rupees using this 2 rupees and k rupees that's what is asked and this k is actually not equals to 2 okay so this k is something different k is not exactly equal to 2 an important thing k is less than n of course uh, n is always greater than equals to k so that's important factor here and what we have to do we have to just print yes if it is possible to represent n berls in coins otherwise print no so the answer is just yes no we don't have to actually show the show which denominations how many times we have used fine so that's the question cool so this is what we are after like can you represent n using this re can you represent n using uh, this 2 and k fine so one clear cut observation uh, that you can make is uh, this will be again i guess a question based on number theory if i am not mistaken but one clear cut observation that you can make if n is even n is even Uh, for example 10 20 30 or something like that you don't even care about k what is the value of k because with 2 you can represent any even numbers right with 2 you can represent any even numbers right make sense if n is even if n is even means that is n is here greater than equals to like n is here of course greater than equals to 2 and it is some sort of like form 2p then you can always represent using just 2 you don't even need k right so that's one clear cut observation here so if n is even if n is even yes yes of course it's possible and what is that they have not asked us but we can anyway guess it right so it's simply uh, how is the represent the represent is 2x plus ky right 2x plus ky this x will be nothing but n by 2 right and this y will be zero so it is always possible right so if n is even i guess it is not very difficult to observe 2 can represent like using 2 you can generate any even number so yes it is always possible and uh, a uh, formulation looks like this 2x plus ky where y is 0 and x is just equal to n by 2 fine so this is not required but the point is it's always possible now let's say what if like now else case is only one case it may right what if n is odd can we represent odd numbers let's see so basically now we are after else that is n is odd cool n is odd okay fine so you want to represent an odd number now how does the odd number look first of all that's what you should ask okay so we are thinking right if you encounter this contest in a question what are you going to do How does odd number look? So what are odd numbers, by the way? There are there are like three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, so on, right? So these are odd numbers. How do you represent them? So odd numbers are represented like this, right? Two p plus one. I guess we already discussed this one of the previous videos. I guess the question was forbidden integer, but fine. So odd numbers are two p plus one. But there's nothing stopping you from writing it like this: two p minus one plus three, right? So this we have already seen in one of the previous videos. So I'm just repeating it. So I'll probably link it in the i i button above. You can check that video. But yeah, so not like odd numbers are two p plus one. But no one is stopping you from representing like okay, sorry, no one is stopping you from representing it like two p minus one plus three. I can even boil it down further. No one is stopping you from representing like two p minus two plus five. Okay, no one is stopping you from representing it like two p minus three plus seven. Uh, right? No one is stopping you from doing that. Similarly, so on. you can represent a odd number like uh, some sort of uh, let's say 2x plus k you can always represent 2x plus k now of course uh, provided this thing has to be greater than equals to 0 but uh, that is fine right? so of course p minus 1 p minus 2 minus 3 all have to be greater than equals to 0 otherwise it's not possible right <laughs> uh, yeah so but i am just i am just telling you odd numbers can be represented like this so 2x plus k and can you observe something about this k here can you observe something about this k 1 3 5 7 what is this This is odd, right? This is odd, right? So what did we found out? Uh, any odd number can be represented like 2x plus k, where k is odd. 
right? Where k is odd, right? Any odd, any odd number, let's say we are discussing about n, right? So any odd number n can be represented like 2x plus k, 2x plus k. So if you think about it, that's what we are after here. <laughs> we are uh, we want to represent n using 2x plus k only, 2x plus k only. But the condition just one here is that it has to be odd, right? So what does what does the question become now? You can represent if n is odd, but k has to be odd, right? But k has to be odd. So here you can just write something like this: if k is odd, if k is odd, yes, k is odd, yes, else no. So that's that. Okay, that's the question. Done and dusted. So let me repeat uh, the question for you. If you are uh, if you are still confused, so if n is even, it is always possible. Of course, if even number is there, you, with just two you can represent all the even numbers. But what if n was odd? Then we just looked how are how can the odd numbers be represented? So odd numbers are two b plus one, two b minus one plus three, so on. Irrespective of what I'm saying is the general notation for odd number is two x plus k, and where this k is odd, one, three, five, seven, right? And this x can be of course greater than equals to zero. We already discussed it. We already discussed it. So if n is odd, it can be represented using two x plus k, where this k is odd, and of course this k has to be less than equals to n, but it is already given, right? It's already given. That's that, right? So that's done and dusted. So basically, if n is even, if n is even, it's always possible. Else, you can represent an odd number only if k is odd. Otherwise, it's not possible. Otherwise, it's not possible, right? So that's that. That's question. And uh, yeah, I don't think I have anything else to discuss here. You can represent odd number using two x plus k, and k has to be odd here. Fine. So let me just show you the code. So I'm not going to waste your time by writing the code here because the code is very small. So if n is even, it's always possible. Yes. But if n is odd, it is only possible if k is odd. So this odd I have implemented. Okay, so it just came out to equal equals to one. That's what I have written. Yes, otherwise no. So yeah, that's that. Uh, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.